Hey, how's it going? Chris from Prepare My 101. Nice to meet you. You've probably noticed that I've actually been uploading a lot more videos lately. That's because I've got a bunch of stuff sitting around to show and I'm trying to get a lot of it out of the way before summer really hits and I start getting into some different stuff. Plus, a lot of the stuff is really good. So, eh. I first mentioned, showed this flashlight in the uh, top 10, uh, what was it, top 10 items under $30. And I've been carrying it ever since. So I've been carrying carry it probably about two weeks before that, two, three weeks. And I honestly wasn't sure if I was gonna like this or not. It's a flashlight, and I know you love flashlights. Don't act like you don't. I know none of you can see in the dark. And it's dark half the time. So, come on, unless you got cat vision, you need a flashlight. But uh, I don't normally use double-A flashlights. I, I'm almost completely 18650. That's just what I'm used to. Packs more punch. Uh, you can get brighter. However, as I've talked about, I've been trying to shrink my daily carry stuff. Like, not carry so much big stuff. I've got a smaller knife, a smaller gun, a uh, smaller this, smaller that. So, this is a smaller light. This is the Through Night Archer 1A V3. So it's the third version of the Archer series. First version was pretty plain Jane, but solid. Second version was a lot better. This is the best by far. Uh, it is basically like a mini TN12. Same push button, same mode switch. Everything about this is pretty much perfect. So don't go away, and I'm gonna break down why. I don't like labels. You know, at one point in time, I was primarily a gear tester. Now I do a bunch of different stuff, but let's face it, I still test gear. And because I do that, I get to try a lot of different stuff. Some of it I like, some of it I don't. You don't usually don't see the stuff that I don't, because if I don't like it, I'm not wasting a video on it when there's so many things that I do like. But this flashlight here, I was carrying this, um, for a good long time as my EDC light. And it's an 18650 light. But this is the average size of an 18650 light. And this is a single double A light. So it is a lot easier in the pocket. It's a lot easier for EDC. You don't notice it's there. But man, this thing is bright. It throws an awesome beam. It's just it's just right it's not you know it's not too much it's not too little it's just right first of all there are a lot of people out there that want double a battery flashlights they don't want 18650s they don't want 123s they want flashlights that are powered by regularly available commonly available batteries double a's you can find double a's freaking everywhere you can find rechargeable Get a better job, buy a better muffler. I want to go back down to that property, uh, 80 miles. Well, we had lawnmowers there, so can't get away from noise. It's just how it is here on Prepare My 101. But as I was saying, a lot of people want the double A's. So this double A. Now, I normally use for stuff like this, for high drain devices, my preferred battery for stuff like this is the Eneloop Pro and that is like 2450 mAh. Loads of power in that thing. Excellent, excellent battery. But this flashlight also is capable of a higher voltage so you can use 14500s on it. Now think about the 14500s. 14500s are generally just a hair longer than a double A. So when you first put it on, you're like, oh my God, is that gonna fit? First time I put it on before I broke this, 
I didn't break the spring, but broke the spring in a little bit. I didn't think it was gonna fit. Now it's fine. So they will be a little bit tighter than a regular double A, but it almost doubles the output. And so when you have a 14500 in this little light, the light that comes out of it is freaking amazing. Now once again, as far as the functionality goes, uh, it's just, like I said, it's like a mini uh, TN12. You got your forward, momentary, clicky switch. So a half press is momentary. Press all the way down to lock it on. And then up front, that is your mode switch. Simple. And like all through nights, the mode spacing is just about perfect. So they've got a very low low, a very high high, and nice even steps in between it. Let's see what else here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So if the light is on, even if it's on moonlight mode, and you hold down the mode switch, that's how you get into strobe. Which I think the age of strobe is over. Yeah, it was cool for a minute, but do we really need it? I mean, I've done tests on myself, and in the dark, when your eyes are adjusted for the dark, straight flashing, straight flashlight coming at you is just as hard on the eyes as strobe. I swear to God, I, I live next to a freaking racetrack. Anyway, I'm just a little, little tweaking today. But yeah, this thing. I know people get tired of seeing the same brands over and over, but when the same brands keep making stuff that's great and is affordable, oh well, I like them. I like them a lot, and I wasn't sure I was really going to be into this one. But it fits in your pocket a lot easier. That's the big thing. Me, if you're a gearhead like me and you want to carry all this stuff, you know what I would, when I did my EDC video like I don't know months ago, and I was like. I'm carrying this, 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 and this. It was like, yeah, I was pretty well prepared for just about everything. But man, there's a lot of crap to carry. So I cut back on the knives. Uh, smaller gun. For, I mean, for, for pocket knife, I'm pretty much carrying the signal. You know, I don't, know, I don't even always carry like some sort of protective knife or anything like that. I've just, I've cut way back on my stuff. Some of it just goes in the bag. And this flashlight, I've been using it for pretty much everything. So let's get some shots of it in the dark and see if we can give you a good uh, demonstration of what this thing is like. All right, people, you're about to find out why I like this light so much. This is a single AA flashlight. It also accepts 14 500s. It is very small, yet, as you can see, <laughs> it really lights up things. It just blows me away what this little light does. This is like my new favorite EDC light. Okay, so that's, that's the turbo. Uh, we're going to use the shed for our example here because, let's face it, people like the shed more than they like me. It's not that impressive at a distance until you hit turbo. But still, the on high, definitely ain't bad. Now let's take a look with just rechargeables, not uh, 14500, but uh, NICAD. I believe it's NICAD. I'll figure it out in a sec. Okay, so they're not NICAD, they're uh, nickel metal hydride. I use Eneloop Pros. So on turbo here, it almost looks the same, but not quite. Still pretty darn respectable for a AA flashlight. But you definitely get a, get a big jump when you go to the uh, 14500s. Yeah, it's the biggest thing about the, this light, well, it's, there's a lot of things, but you know, the for a small pocket light, I really like the O lights that are uh, 18650, 
and they're not much bigger than this but I, I like the buttons on here I like the the rear tactical switch the forward mode switch the way it feels this is probably one of the best lights through nights ever done Let me go back to uh, the 14500 real quick oh yeah now now that I have them back in there again yes definitely a big difference got bats flying around out here that's awesome everybody likes bats Ben Affleck really put the capital B back in bat I'm talking stupid now that happens at night I get like retarded so yeah there we go so, yeah there you go freaking awesome little EDC light with the easy ability of, to give it a lot more juice just by throwing a lithium ion in it you love that shed don't you I'm so gonna burn it down with the flamethrower test so that's the Archer 1AV3 by far my favorite double-a flashlight I mean Ben from living survival he's getting tired of reviewing the same brands over and over again and he freaking loves this flashlight this is one of the best ones they've put out affordable to everybody readily available batteries for everybody and if you want to make it even brighter just get a couple rechargeable 14 500s and man the difference is noticeable normally I have an extra and because and I, I only ever do this on through night and that's just because there's these irritating cynics out there that think there's this big conspiracy and so we beat them up and do all sorts of really stupid stuff and chew up a perfectly good flashlight obviously it freaking works they're not cherry picked they come to us through the Amazon stock system so I, I get tired of hearing all that stuff but instead of beating up the other one because I have this in cool white and I have it in neutral the neutral one if you don't understand what the difference between a cool white LED and a neutral LED is a neutral LED is basically the light coming out of it is a lot closer to old-school incandescent flashlights so it doesn't seem as like a sharp brightness but the color rendition of what you're seeing is going to be a lot more natural if you were like a doctor and you were looking down someone's throat and you're trying to get the you know see what's back there you would be better off doing that with a neutral LED versus a cool white but anyway I have a brand new neutral LED archer like this so I'm gonna give that one away you know the routine this is how we've been doing it lately and there's gonna be a lot of giveaways this summer I got a lot of Jessica access to give away too but I'm gonna have a lot of flashlights as well so this is going to be like the first one. All you got to do is comment in the description box below. In a week from now, I will use that random YouTube comment picker, uh, draw a name, and you'll win one of these. And when I do giveaways, there are, you know, there's no borders. I got a world, worldwide audience. It's not fair to them if uh, they get excluded because they don't live in the U.S. So... If I gotta pay international shipping every now and again, you know, then that's what I gotta do. Everybody gets a fair chance. So there you go. Probably gonna be carrying this one for a while. I don't have any other double A's. To t well, I have the 2A. I have not tested the 2A version, so that'll come up here soon. But most of the stuff that I have to test is like really small, like keychain lights and things like that. So look forward to those. All right, guys, I'm Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Links to this flashlight will be in the description box below uh, for Amazon and throughnight.com. Uh, again, just leave a comment in the description box below. I will pick uh, one next week, and then uh, I still got last week's flashlight giveaway coming up, uh, which I think I got to pick that one tomorrow. So other than that, thanks for watching. I got a bunch more videos coming up, uh, some of them out in the woods, some of them not. So just stay tuned. Lots going on. See you next time.